Hello friends, welcome or welcome back to Shadow Play Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me here today. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Make yourselves at home. There's plenty of content to catch up on. And if you're a returning old friends, I tell you all the time, thank you so much for coming back and spending more of your precious time with me here on the channel. You know I love hanging out with you guys and I love doing these readings for you guys. Um, I hope you guys watched part one of this reading um, that I'm about to do. So part one is all about your next date. So that would be covering who the person we're gonna be talking about in this reading is gonna be, what the vibe is gonna be like, what your connection is gonna be like. Um, and then this part of the reading is gonna specifically cover um, the next time you and this person hook up or the first time you hook up with this person, whatever it might be, um, your encounter. Uh, we are gonna be looking into that. And because of the topic we're gonna to be discussing, I am calling this an 18 plus. Um, again, this is a continuation from the first part. You do not have to feel like you need to pick the same group that you did in the first reading. Maybe you do feel drawn to the same group. Um, feel free to play around with it though. Uh, whatever feels right to you, there is no right or wrong way and there might be messages for you in more than one group. So let's get to it. We have group number one, group number two, and group number three. Whenever you're ready, I'll meet you at your reading. Hello, my group number ones. If you pick the sticker, then welcome to your reading, friends. Today, we're gonna to be looking into your next slash first time with this person. We are not gonna be talking about who this person is or anything about your connection. That was already covered in part one of this reading, which is titled, All About Your Next State. Um, so, Let's get to it. My group number one. So we're going to be looking into, we'll be kind of warming up with the lead up into your guys' encounter, and then we'll be getting all kinds of details. Well, we'll see what kind of details want to come through, right, um, of the actual encounter and you getting it on with this person. We'll be getting a little glimpse into the vibe and your feelings after, what's going on. We'll be using charms, initials. Oh, you know what I got today? You know, I love using my little handwritten handwritten uh, messages for the 18 plus readings. Um, so we have those two, and then we'll be pulling some oracles. With all that being said, my friends, it's an 18 plus reading. Um, that just means we're gonna be discussing topics that I, you know, that anyone under 18 um, doesn't need to be hearing about, especially not from YouTube. But um, let's get to it, my group number one. Gotta put that out there. All right. Thank you, Spirit, for allowing me to channel these messages today for my group number ones. My group number ones, please. All right, let me tap back in. in continuation from yesterday's reading, tapping back into this person's energy that my group number ones is going to be connecting with. What's their next or their first time going to be like messages, please, for my group number ones? What can you tell us, please, about what will lead up to my group number ones? up this, with this person what can you tell us please what can you tell us please about this encounter thank you spirit maybe one ones next time the person that they connected with in the first reading what will it be like what can you tell us we have the five of pentacles in reverse so i am seeing that you guys this is like a coming together <laughs> hopefully more than one way um because listen, it feels like you guys, okay, so cute vibes going on here. Um, you're getting all warmed up, my group number ones. I mean, so am I kind of, is what it feels like. But what I mean by that, it's emotionally warmed up. Um, you're feeling warm and fuzzy, for sure, for some of you. Um, now, the reason this is, though, is because you guys have spent time with this person. You guys are going to spend hours with this person is what it feels like. Um, and through this time, you guys have been connecting, connecting, connecting. It's like the intimacy is building. So you're gonna learn something about this person or something's gonna become very clear to you. I'm telling you, it's almost like you feel this heart pull. So I'm gonna go ahead and say, from the perspective that I'm picking up, it feels like you feel emotionally connected to this person. It doesn't feel like it's just some random hookup. And if it is a random hookup, you guys are just, this person just feels like someone like you've either known forever 
or you guys are just having such a great time and your heart is just happy. I'm getting lots of water, of course, especially Pisces. We have Cancer and Scorpio as well. Why are the Five of Pentacles in reverse? What's leading up to it? Thank you, Spirit. What can you tell us? Oh, yeah. You're vibing with this person. Someone could be a Capricorn. For some of you, this could come at the tail end of Capricorn season, which, are we there yet? <laughs> are we there yet? <laughs> we are almost there. Wait, I'm bitches. I was just looking at December when I looked up. Anyway, same, same thing. It starts around the same time of year every month. So, um, yeah, I think we're going to be in Capricorn soon. So maybe some of you, this is going to be coming up soon. Why are the two of cups? An unexpected connection. You're, oh. You guys. <laughs> so two things I started hearing. One was like, you literally want to make love to this person's mind. It's so interesting. I know this sounds so weird, but it's almost like I got a vision of you. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I guess what a school teacher would say, kiss their brain. You want to kiss their brain. But it's more like you want to lick their brain. <laughs> um, someone here is very smart. And they're going to spend time talking about certain things. Now, I'm not getting that this person is going to be like super like lovey-dovey or super like charmer. I get that you guys are just having like all these conversations and you're learning a lot or you're um you're maybe learning a lot about them or you guys are exchanging just vibes there's lots of vibes and there's time that's taken here and that's what seals the deal it's that you almost weren't expecting to feel this way and you guys are different you and this person it's like maybe your style is different or maybe you're in this energy where you're looking real good, you're dressed up, maybe they just um, had something else going on earlier in the day. Maybe they had like some work thing or something. Not saying that they're like slummy, like I am not getting work uniform, I'm getting if your person had like a meeting and they're like dressed for that already. Um, Cause it feels like there's something very prime and proper and you're just like, you're, you're feeling it. <laughs> you're feeling it. Yeah, you're really into this. You guys are, um, it feels like it's an unexpected reunited or unexpected we were able to kind of like make this happen. So it does not feel like that there is a long time planning. It feels like it unexpectedly just kind of fell together and worked out. But it also feels like you unexpectedly connect with them in a way that you weren't expecting. And you're just, you're so turned on by them. Like the more that they share with you or talk or tell you about something or tell you about their ideas or, and they may not, like, here's the thing. I'm not getting that this person is like a crazy talker. I mean, they could be, but I'm just getting that it's like, whatever you guys are, I feel like it's talking. Whatever you guys are talking about, you guys are vibing. And there's also this feeling, I don't know why this is important. I mean, I guess I know why it's important, but it's like, um, this person's like not bullshitting you. So this is what's leading up to it, right? Not going to lie. You guys, even if you're like horny for this person, it almost seems like you want to make sweet love to them with that queen of cups and the two of cups. And we have like, oh, I feel better. I feel good about this is what this feels like. So basically the vibes, are, it's almost like a, you're not going to, you're, you're not going to not do this. You're not going to walk away from this. Um, interesting. There's two queens and two kings showing up. Okay, this is random. For some of you, you could unexpectedly connect with this person while you're out with a friend or you and a friend were somewhere and then other people were meeting up. I'm not, I mean, maybe it could be double date. It doesn't have to be. 
It also doesn't have to be involving other people. I don't necessarily see that, but I, since there are so many court cards, I have to kind of bring that up. This person's going to let you know something about their plans for their business or their goals for um, something, some kind of stability that they want to build for themselves. Um, maybe that's why you're getting all turned on because it's someone that has drive and motivation and it feels like they have like a level head. That's, yeah, that's one thing that's definitely getting your little, your little um, situation riled up is the fact that they, they are coming off as being very level headed and very grounded. You guys are vibing hard. You get to learn something about their career or their home or their long-term goals. They're going to reveal something to you. This is something you were worried about, perhaps. Some of you could have been worried that there was competition or um, that they, maybe this person's a parent and you wondered how they're, if they were still stuck on their past partner or, um, you know, that's not for everyone, of course not, especially depending on your age and stage. But um, it does feel like something, they, they talk to you about something and then you're like, oh, okay, that's, that's not what I thought. <laughs> and, and I just feel like you're in some sort of ease or comfort with them. Comfortable. It feels like you guys are, this is happening at the right time. Um, because it doesn't seem like you guys, if you had a chance to hook up with this person in the past, or if you already have, maybe there was like alcohol involved at some point for some of you. And it doesn't feel like, yeah, that's not, that's not a, a factor here. Not saying that you're not feeling good, but it's not to the point where you're going to like feel messy later, or regret it or be like, what happened? Um, so I don't know who needed to hear that because it seems like, yeah, it seems like there's a lot of intimacy here, emotional intimacy. And this person, so this person might offer to take you home or to come towards you or to say, oh no, I'll, I'll bring it to you. Well, I'll just drop it off. Something like that. I'll, I'll come to you. Don't worry. That could be if you guys know other people, like uh, the same people or work or something like that. That could be a, you know, a little thing to like get around that because it feels like they're going to say F it and they're going to, they're not going to hold back because, yeah, this person's going to take control because they feel like in the past they were passive or they don't want to be passive. Because this is your this is your guys' chance, is what I just heard. This is your chance to connect because the vibes have been good. Feels like you guys both know this is coming. <laughs> All right, let's see what signs we have. I just saw Aries because I saw the Emperor, of course. We have air, we have everybody. I'm not gonna call them out because literally every court card and their well, I was gonna say their mama. Well, I guess their their daddy showed up with the emperor, but the empress didn't show up. <laughs> All right, my group number ones, let's get, let's get into the encounter. All right, thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number ones, please. Their next time, their next or first time with this person. What can you tell us, please? Their next or first time with this person. What can you tell us about the encounter, what that's going to be like? What can my group number ones expect? Thank you, Spirit. What can my group number ones expect, please? about this encounter, their next or their first time with this person. What can they expect? Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number ones, please. What can they expect? What can they expect? We have the Two of Swords in reverse, the Empress in reverse. There's the Empress. We do not want to see her. Oh, you... You're un sure let's see why oh so you guys are uh, what in the emotional entanglements 
this either feels like some of you weren't expecting to feel like you fell in love with this person. I don't know. Do we need a Delulu checkpoint that? No, check yourselves, my friends. Because I, I, some of you might feel like you unexpectedly just, I don't know, like maybe your heart just broke open and you're like, oh my God, I love Josh. And some of you are like, if I don't go for this, will I regret it? If I don't go for this, I won't, I won't know. <sighs> okay, for some of you, if you know that this person was involved at some point, maybe that's what kind of had you held back in that two of wands. Part of you is like, I should make them wait. Yeah, that's the other part of you too. So you're in, you're in your, the femme merge to femme is feminine, my friends. You're in your, you're in your, uh, feels it feels like you really uh I don't know some of you love this person and with that queen of wands it's like you just want to go for what you want you're undecided so you're you're kind of there's some kind of debate mm. you guys don't know if It'll either be worth the time or if you want to give it time because you don't know if this person was available or is available. This could be someone that, okay, this could be someone that you were unsure about. And now you're like, your perspective totally changed. Now, I don't know, maybe one of you guys is involved. Hopefully not. By the Queen of Cups. By the tower. By the Queen of Wands. What in the thruple? <laughs> Is there a thruple? I mean, they don't have to be present. It could be an invisible thruple that is. I'm just saying, because why so many court cards, you guys? All right, let me flip it. I think you guys are, are triggered because of the emotions that come up with this person. And I don't think that they're as, you're not sure if they care about you or if they, because they're, 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 remember, they were showing up as the King of Swords and now we have the King of Cups in reverse. This person isn't really showing emotion. And maybe a part of you is like, is this all they want? There's a lot of fear that's coming up. So it almost makes me feel like you're like, oh, shit, I caught feels. And now I'm not sure what to expect. It also feels like um, people don't really know about this. Yeah, this, this kind of catches you off guard. So it's almost like this is all the thoughts that are coming through. Listen, I don't think that this is going to stop you from from going for it with this person. I think that there's things that are coming up for you, but look at this opportunity. You start to view this as someone that there's an opportunity here to build towards more. But some of you, I don't know. Okay, so there's a lot of culture, tradition, like uh, wanting the same things, doing the right thing elevating this and I can't tell if it's because you're unexpectedly realizing that this could be someone that you could see those things with or it could be an opportunity to work towards these things or this is an opportunity to bring your relationship up but there's also some kind of fear that's being triggered over your emotions and how this person shows up so if I feel like this is kind of specific I, I, I even at this point I'm like I don't know you guys will have to let me know if it's connecting to the first part of your reading I don't remember what happened in those, but it feels like you're, you're kind of torn in this person. It's like, they're just so, they're doing such a good job to like get you out of your head or the vibe is there and they're showing up, but you're 
yeah, you're getting a little spooked. I can't blame you. Kitchen feels. <laughs> and this economy. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then we get that. So this person, listen, they are into you, but they're not going they're not at the emotional level that you are. No way. This person isn't going to be, um, you know, wearing their heart on their sleeve. They might be sweet to you. Mm-hmm. Let's see what else we can get, my friends. Because this is telling me about the emotional ride you're, you're in for. And there's a lot of um, feelings here over over this. I'm not going to lie. I kind of feel like you might make them wait, but you're not leaving them without anything. So like some of you could, you know, some of you could be pleasing this person. Some of you could just be um, wanting to cuddle or like meek out. It feels like there's something very proper here that either triggers fears or you guys are keeping it very under wraps. Now, that's not for everyone, but I don't know, you guys. There's, a, there's, a, there's something here that's coming up for you guys that isn't letting you um, let loose and go forward. The way that I think in a carefree way or the way that you would want, there's some kind of hesitation. So your next, um, you know, your, your, your next or your first time with this person, it doesn't feel like you're ready to get super down, a little down, a smidge. <laughs> All right, listen, let's get some more messages for you. Thank you, spirit. Messages for my group number once, please. What else can you tell us about this encounter? My group number one's next or first time with this person. What can you tell us, please, about their next encounter? I am seeing like kissing. Yeah, I'm, I'm seeing kissing and like just like sweet, like I'm telling you, like cuddling. Maybe a little something else, but nothing more to report. <laughs> Let's pull again. All right. Thank you, Spirit. What else can you tell us about this encounter for my group number ones? What else can you tell us the next or their first time? Yeah, it feels like you guys aren't either like trusting yourselves or you're just like I don't I don't think you guys are What is it? It's like you're realizing what you want out of this and you realize how you got to get it. And it almost feels like the fantasy of something or maybe you thought of this moment for so long or I don't know. Maybe you're viewing this person as like too young. It's like you're viewing something here. And I feel like your goal is more long term. Yeah, because they're not talking about like, I, I don't think you guys are gonna, you're not like, you're not like overtaken by passion, which is good, which is good. Um, not knocking on it. I'm just saying, I think this reading is pretty specific. And if this is sounding like you or how like you kind of are in these situations, or especially if it's the specific person where it's like, you just don't want that. And maybe you want them to show more, to show more, to show that they care more or that they want this more. Now, I do think that they do but it just feels like the next time that you have this uh, 
level of encounter with this person, it's more, there's intimacy, it's emotional intimacy, or it's intimacy through conversation. Because I'm telling you, it's almost like whatever ends up happening there, you're almost like in a daze. It's like you're, you're, you're being pulled between your feelings and the what ifs. There is, there, there is a little bit of action going on, that little Knight of Cups, but it's mostly, it comes back to emotions. It comes back to little gestures. It's not translating as you're going to be, um, you know, riding this person into the sunset. Not saying you won't, but this next time, I think you're like, hmm. Let's see how next time, let's see how next time goes. Because maybe the vibes are just so good. I don't know, guys. Emotionally, you guys are wrapped up in this person. I can't get past that. And you want to make them work for it. You do. And at the same time, you're like, oh, but I really want this. And you're like, no, 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 no. And it's almost like you pull back. But you're not like communicating this clearly. It's like you want them to show you that they care as well or that they're into you, which they should, but I'm saying it's like a tactic you're using in this situation. Someone could be, we have heavy Pisces and um, Sagittarius and Scorpio, the nine of wands, or, or the eight of wands, I mean, and the queen of cups in reverse. Yeah. yeah. So you guys are in your head. You guys are holding your own. You guys are, um, you know, you're giving in a little bit, but you're, you're holding, yeah, you're, you're holding out for the, for this person. And you guys are, um, I'm definitely feeling like the situation is going to be left with a lot of like sexual tension between you guys. But I think that that's kind of tactical on your part. <laughs> my group number, my group number one. Um, all right, let's get just a little bit. Uh, we kind of already saw, but let's get the vibes and the glimpse of after so i definitely feel like you're trying to make this person work for it but let's see what the vibe and your feelings are after this encounter after your makeout session <laughs> that's what it feels like maybe this is the first time you and this person are making out well and then for those of you that this is your first date with this person um you know that could also be a reason all right thank you spirit messages from my group number ones please what's the vibe and feelings after the fool, a new beginning. You, I feel like you feel euphoric. <laughs> you feel excited, but you're also like, man, I really like this person. The fact that this caught you off guard, there's something about this that really catches you off guard. Why the fool, please? There's a, this person. Yeah, this could be someone that you just met or the first date. Um, I do think that you want more with them. But it's like, let's see where this goes. Yeah, you're like, convince me. I think you guys, um, so you guys are coming at this from a place of where that you've been hurt before. And that's where there's all this fear going. I'm not going to lie. You guys might even like ghost this person after. I know that's weird to say, but I really feel like you're trying to get them. I can't tell if you're trying to get them to chase you or you're just trying to get them to um, show you that they care if they're even someone that you want around. Now, the other thing that I'm also getting is you guys are not ready for a new beginning. <clears throat> now my throat's closing up. You guys aren't ready for a new beginning. Um, some of you, and you'll know if this is for you, because this is for those of you that this is, you're starting to get back out there, maybe from a period of time after a breakup or a divorce or something like that. It's like, you've already been hurt. So you're very much on guard, but I think you end up having such a good time with this person or you just enjoy it so much that some of you might react by retreating by just saying, you know what? Never mind. Um, yeah, because it feels like you want to see. Yeah, you want to see if there's reciprocity here. You need to see it. You need to see the effort put in. 
all right, this is almost like your way of vetting people out of your life, in or out of your life, right? That Aries showing up so strong in your reading. We kept seeing Aries, Scorpio, and Pisces. My group number ones, what a roller coaster, huh? I'm telling you. Um, never know, never know what we're going to get in these readings. And here you guys were ready with your little 18 plus popcorn, huh? <laughs> this is why that person got mad. <laughs> Telling me to put a warning that there was no 18 plus. I'm sorry. I'm, let's go pick up a, a little erotica book or something. <laughs> All right. Messages to my group number ones. Surrender, energy, ideation, peace. Yeah, you guys are good. You guys are having a good time. You guys are vibing, but you're also like, hmm, I think that's enough for me. <laughs> that was enough excitement for the day. <laughs> oh, man. I can uh, relate to that. I, it's like those times where you're like, I feel like going out. I want to go have fun. And then you're out and you're like, mm, that's enough. I'm ready now. I'm ready to go home. That's how I am. All right. We have surrender, energy, ideation, happiness, peace, and sweetness. Friends, um, I think the vibes are there. You're having a good time. Um, but it, it's like, this is a like grown, grown person things. You've been through some things. It's someone that has learned something, or maybe there's still something that's pretty fresh that you're like, I'm not falling into that again. So you're definitely, it feels like you're, um, you're trying to see if this person or yeah, if this person's going to be putting in any effort. Uh, let's get some initials. I was going to bring the little bowl over, but it's already right here. Oh, we got a lot. We have mas, which makes me think of maiz, so corn. It also makes me think of mazatlan. Oh, and then there's the L. Maybe there's something about Mexico. We have LLC. Someone owns a business. Maybe you just got your LLC. Congratulations. We have KO knockout. You're going to look really good. This person's going to think you're a knockout. We have VKZ, Vikings. Someone's school mascot. H O. H O K F. And then we have E and R. Oh, this makes me think of um, Kiefer. <laughs> Two Z's, three Z's, three Z's makes me think of the last, that makes me think of that tower energy because I almost thought the last thing you thought of or the surprise. All right, let's get some charms. Oh yeah, we're going to do handwritten messages. I don't know, should we even do those for this group? <laughs> I'm curious to see. All right, we have the mini ears. So they say LA, someone here could be from LA, go to Disneyland, like baseball. We have the Wu-Tang um, Killer Bee with the dripping honey. This always gives me Empress energy with that honey. Um, again, just looking real good, very delicious. <laughs> we have Mickey wearing the ghost sheet. You guys, you might ghost this person. You're gonna see if they wanna come back around or if they're gonna fight to come back around. Um, and then we have, oh, this is a new pin that I got. This is a dagger going through, I think that's a sacred heart. Oh, but there's two eyes. So this makes me feel you're being very intuitive. And this makes me think of Ace of Swords. So it's like you see it. You could see how this person could just be charming you or wanting to get what they want or it's like you can see how you guys are compatible it's like whatever your situation is i think you see pretty clearly through it and you're just doing what feels right and i think what feels right to you might be to just see what comes of this don't don't jump in too fast and then we have realize 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 again another indicator there's something about this situation that you just know what's up and you know how far you're willing to go um, so I'm actually going to keep it right there for you guys. I don't feel like we need to pull those other messages. Um, but anyway, my group number ones, that's what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope it resonated. My apologies that it wasn't as steamy as you may have wanted it to be, but hopefully it was helpful. Please take care of yourselves and I'll catch you the next one. Thanks guys. Hello, my group number twos. If you pick the sticker, 
then welcome to your reading friends. You know why you're here today. Today we are going to be doing a little 18 plus situation. Even though I'm not sure how spicy it's going to get, I still have to mention that it is 18 plus because of the topic we're going to be discussing. Today we're going to be looking into your next time slash or your first time with this person. Now who this person might be, um, that is covered in part one of this reading, which is titled Your Next Date. So that'll give you insight as to who this person can be, what your connection, what the vibe will be like, and yeah, and then basically what's leading up to this point. Um, friends, this is a collective reading. Please only take what resonates. So leave the rest for someone else. If something happens to be confusing you or it doesn't make sense, that's literally just the biggest sign that the reading is not for you. Um yeah, it just may not be your story and that's totally fine. All right. My group number two is what else do I need to tell you? I don't know. Let's just get into it. Uh, we're going to begin by looking into what's going to be leading up to this encounter, this uh, little hookup session you're going to have with this person. And um, yeah, we'll be using tarot, of course, and we'll be pulling oracle cards, initials, charms. And you know, I love using my little handwritten notes. Um, so I have the handwritten messages. We'll see if we end up using them depending on how your reading flows. Let's just get to it. My group number twos, thank you for joining me here today. All right, let's go. Thank you, Spirit, for allowing me to channel these messages from my group number twos. My group number twos, please. What can you tell us about my group number twos next time with this person or their first time? Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number twos, please. What will be leading up to this encounter? What can you tell us? Messages from my group number twos, their next or first time with this person. What can you tell us? What's leading up to this encounter? What's leading up to this? Thank you, Spirit. One more. Thank you. For some of you, you might not be talking much or I don't know. I just saw the, the page of swords in reverse. We'll see what that's about. Hermit, yeah, some of you guys could be in a disconnect. So what leads to you guys hooking up could very well be um, a separation of some sort. This person that I just heard lurking in the shadows. What in the, what we do in the shadows? Mm. Okay, so listen. Those of you that are spicy little mommies, and if you know, you know. Um, and if you don't know, if you're someone that doesn't hold back and you're just passionate and you have to, you say what you want to say, this kind of fires this person up. They like your, they like your spiciness. Um, they like how you're not afraid to kind of speak out. But besides that, I do feel like there is some kind of separation that happens that leads up to this point. Um, not for everyone, but for some of you, for sure, you could be in separation right now. You guys could have, could be two people that are uh, very similar in certain ways. Maybe you guys both are entrepreneurs or parents or um, similar careers or just sim similarities in that way. What's leading up to this? Thank you. Messages from my group number twos. What's leading up to this encounter? They did want to take it. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, someone could be a single parent. Um, why the hermit was leading up to this encounter. Yeah, what's up with this? This person, or whoever the masculine is, I mean, it could be you, but it's like something's brewing during this time that you're not talking to them. So you're not talking to them is really doing a number. And when I mean by a number, I'm like, what in the, what in the sick game is this? <laughs> What in the twisted foreplay? It's like the equivalent of someone that likes to have their nipples twisted really hard, except it's their emotional nipples or something. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't know if that made sense. I don't even know why I'm talking about that. Maybe someone is thinking about that. Maybe this person, this person likes your nipples. Yeah. Here's the thing. You guys like what each other has going on and you're trying to, um, I think you're trying really hard to maintain some kind of a stoic uh, feel or vibe. You're, you're trying to give off, I don't care. You're trying to give off cold, but this person's going to come in and fucking melt that ice right off of you is what it feels like, you guys. I'm going to have to take off my little puffy jacket. <laughs> it's 
it's getting warm in here. Why the Nine of Pentacles? What's leading up to this? This person really likes it how you touch them. And if you guys haven't, they want you to. They want you to touch them is what I am getting. Inter this person's very dominating. But at the same time, it's like that's something that they like about you too. Not calling you dominating, but there's something in how you carry yourself or how your words. It's like you're not afraid. You don't like back down. And that's part of their attraction to you. You guys could be similar in age. If there's an age difference, it may be like uh, just a couple years, a few years. There's been some back and forth here. But this person, they're coming in with some kind of sweet offer. There's been delays here. Yeah. Okay, so what's leading up to it is someone walked away from this. Um, and because there was walking away or someone was maybe working on something or closing out a chapter, I don't know, I'm getting different things. But let me talk to those of you that you left this person behind or like walked away from them. Maybe you tried to detach yourself from this situation. Um, this person could feel like you went ghost on them with this five of pentacles and then the way it's like it's very controlled whatever other people can see or what they know about you for some of you this person might even be assuming or might think that um maybe you're dealing with someone else or you're not single anymore now for others of you it could just be that this person's work their responsibilities especially if they're own a business or if they're a parent that could be what's been hindering. And with this high priestess, it tells me like you already know this or you kind of have a feeling. This doesn't seem like it's shocking. And then we have the devil. Someone could be a Capricorn. We have Aries, Virgo, Scorpio showing up. Why the devil, please? Hmm. This person was self-sabotaging and you had to walk away from them and you knew that that was the only thing you could do. Um, there's just a lot going on at the same time. Something about the timing. It was just someone was on overload or just a lot of responsibilities or just feeling burdened by it. And they weren't putting the effort is what it feels like. Someone here wasn't putting in the effort, but it feels like it's coming from a self-sabotaging. So they could have been using all their responsibilities, all the things they have going on as a reason to why they weren't available to you in the past, but look how they're coming through. As the judgment, the five of swords, this person, there might be other people involved or they think they are. Uh, that's what I was going to say earlier. This person might be thinking that you're involved with others and that's why you pulled back from them. So what's leading up to you guys hooking up? It's, it's, a, it's a separation. <laughs> what in the makeup sex? Obviously, you guys, you know, this isn't going to be for everyone, but this is for those of you that keep, keep a little, a little uh, crack in the door. A little, the window's cracked, right? Because it feels like this person, <laughs> okay, so this is a message for those of you that are in separation and you did have to walk away from this person. It does feel like they spent a certain amount of time trying to kind of get you to react or trying to get you to maybe um, initiate or I don't know, be the one that comes to them. And I don't think you did. And good, good on you. And because of that, um, that kind of put the pressure on and they get to this point where they're like, fuck it. I, I'm going to do something about it. I have to. And they go two of wands, ten of swords, and then they do this action. They they uh, take action is what I mean. Um, this person is concerned. I'm not going to say concerned like they're anxious, but they do overthink this a lot. They can't stop thinking about this and they can't help 
but feel pressure because you may have other options and you're their wish or they want something here with you and they don't want anyone else swooping in. You're not talking to this person right now. It doesn't feel like anything's really happened or moved forward. It felt like you had to put some kind of boundary down in order to take care of yourself. Um, and in all honesty, this person thought that that was pretty hot. <laughs> it's like that's a part of your personality trait that this person's like, fuck. Like group number two, they don't just say they're going to do something. They just do it. I love this for you, group number two. Okay, well, let's see. <laughs> let's see what what gets you to bite. <laughs> How did this person come back around? Let's get to it. Thank you, spirit. Messages for my group number twos, please. What can you tell us about this encounter? If you guys take a listen at part to part one and it does connect to who this person is, I would love to hear it in the comments below. Thank you, Spirit. What can you tell us, please, about their encounter with this person, their next time, or their first time with this person? What can you tell us? Let me hook up with this person. Thank you, Spirit. What's the encounter going to be like? What's the encounter going to be like? Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number twos. What's their encounter going to be like? Spirit messages from my group number twos. I just heard desperado. <laughs> yeah, someone gets uh someone gets real ah, it's almost like hungry or like thirsty for this. Because it's almost like they just can't. And there's this feeling where someone is feeling like they're the only ones that want this or they, they must be the only ones. And that's where there's also a little bit of a hang up is that someone is feeling like the other person isn't feeling the same way. Matter of fact, this could even be saying um, that some of you don't even see this coming or don't even think that this person is still interested because I'm getting that there is a lot of it's so imbalanced in your in your dynamic when this happens that it's look at this hermit because there's been time so because of this it almost like creates like a mm, in a, a desperation but in a passionate way let's put it that way i'm not calling anyone desperate i'm just saying the passion Messages for my group number twos, please. So this person wants you all to themselves. That's the other thing. This is feeling like a, a nighttime or it's like dark out encounter. Um, and no, yeah, it feels like it's an encounter for sure. And it feels like there's been so much thought and debate. And this person literally can't stop thinking about you or connecting with you or like wanting this. Let's see why they're showing up as all this reversed energy, though. We have Sagittarius, Aquarius, and Virgo. All air signs are showing up. Why are the templates in reverse? Man, because you have been trying to disconnect from this, trying to ignore it, it's been a long time coming. It's like, I feel like you guys are kind of both in your, there's a misconception here is what it feels like. There's misconception about whatever happened in your dynamic or if there's going to be, if you, it's almost like if there, if there's going to be another chance for some of you, the six of pentacles in reverse. This person's trying to approach you as a friend, but they might feel like you may not want that with them. Or someone here might feel like they're the only ones that thought there was potential here. Then we have the guru, which is the hierophant. Why the hermit, please? What's the encounter going to be like? This person wants to catch you alone. Yeah. They want to catch you alone. Yeah, I, I was waiting for the fucking tower. 
listen, this person's trying to get you in their eyesight. I don't know. I, I'm telling you, it's almost like they're trying to either get you to react or trying to create some kind of action, some kind of change, some kind of momentum in whatever's going on with you guys after this disconnect that they've been thinking about how to do this for so long. And it's like the more they sit in this, it's like the more they get serious about it. So it's like, you know, only you know who you're dealing with. Some of you, you could be dealing with someone that um, they didn't realize how they felt about the connection until there was a disconnect. Um, others of them just, you know, uh, wanting something they can't have, perhaps, right? It's like nothing tastes better than something we're not supposed to be having or we can't have. Um, and maybe that's how you feel about this person. But regardless of what it is, it's like the space affected how they're showing up and they're showing up a lot more intently. Um, they're showing up unexpectedly. They're going to catch you off guard when you're either home alone or you're literally by yourself and this person just poof appears. You, you might even be out somewhere and you look up and then this person is there. Now, I am getting that this person comes to you. They're the ones that unexpectedly push this forward. And for some of you, not for everyone, but for some of you, um, there could be a workplace connection, but there's also thoughts of the future. And it's like way further ahead than maybe you've thought that they did. There's a big misconception going on here. So someone is super thirsty for you or you guys are thirsty for each other. And I kind of feel like your encounter with them, you guys are both going to be like treading carefully. Like you guys are both going to be not opening up too much, you know, still not fully letting each other in, or it's like, you're both kind of feeling it out. You're both trying to read each other or, or read the situation. And I think that's why it's really important for them to get you alone or to catch you while you're alone, especially if, um, you know, you guys, I don't know, you guys could both be parents or roommates or uh, you're both really busy. Someone's always doing something. And it's like they're trying to figure out how to catch you um, when no one else is around, when you're free. So much coming through. It's like this is this is uh, the energy. They want to come in and like I was going to say they want to come in and like start building towards something with you. But besides that, this person may also have something going on with their work or their business. And like you guys might be talking about that or you might be, I don't know. I feel like there's going to be conversations that are helping push whatever this is that's pushing forward. We're getting past that. And it feels like it's been a long time coming and it feels, it feels like this is something that kind of tested both of your hope in the situation belief in the situation there it is you're like not so fast buddy so the key to your heart is actually the key to your into your pants is going to be through your heart for this person and that's why you're taking it slow this ace of cups it's like making it right. And don't get me wrong. Like, I think you want it, but I also think you're being very cautious. And it's like you're almost holding this person accountable or seeing, trying to be very objective in the situation. You're definitely not trying to let you guys, let yourself get swept away. Even though with this Knight of Wands, you are having, you know, it's like there's flirtiness, but there's also a recognition that this may not last. And that's very much um, a part of your energy. 
meaning like this person's here today, but you don't know um, if you can trust them. Look, you're showing up as the queen of swords two times. There's repeat letters, or repeat letters, repeat cards in this deck. And um, you got both of them upright because it feels like there's a discussion that needs to be had before anything else can happen. Yeah, you guys might get into it, but if you guys do get into it, it's, you guys are going <laughs> to, there's what we've been waiting for. You guys are going to like take it out on each other, but like in, in, you know, in that kind of way, when you make up, it's like when you guys uh, connect, you guys are both going to kind of feel what each other, let me put it this way. When you guys connect, you're going to feel the truth of what all this misconception was. So it's like if you felt like this person wasn't wanting you or wasn't desiring you or just didn't want this or they weren't putting in the effort and maybe they felt like you didn't care, you moved on. It's like you guys are both so hot and heavy over each other. Um, I'm getting a lot of making out. I'm getting lots of like heavy, heavy kissing. Heavy kissing. I'm getting a lot of like touching. I'm getting like, yeah, someone's definitely, <laughs> someone's definitely got a boner around here. Um, and someone else is touching it <laughs> a lot. <laughs> you guys you you guys turn each other on with okay you may not hmm. maybe you guys already realize it but some of you may not realize how this type of uh, conflict with you and this specific person it just kind of adds to the passion but you guys have like business to clear up first before you move on to this part that's definitely what I'm getting. And I'm, I'm definitely getting that um, you're letting this person know that you're, some of you are like, I'm onto you or like, what do you think? Like, I, I just think you're being straight up with them. And someone could be talking about what they want, what kind of commitment they want or what they expect or their morals, their beliefs. It's like something's very real here. And with this ace of pentacles it tells it feel or this page of pentacles it feels like you guys are like friends or like a like you're getting to know each other better there's uh some of you could have even felt friend zoned they did you did i don't know but you guys have a big undercurrent of you're gonna argue and then just can't keep your little hands off each other <laughs> Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number twos, please. What else can you tell us about this encounter for my group number twos? What will, you, what will that be like for my group number twos, their next time or their first time with this person? What can you tell us about this encounter? Now, as you can tell, everything I've been saying here, it just feels like there's some kind of history already. And I know a lot of you don't want an an old energy but maybe this is someone that you're going to be meeting and then there's going to be a disconnect and then a reconnect i don't know it feels like there's some kind of space that's being taken from this person though before you guys connect the next time thank you spirit what else can you tell us about this encounter my group number two is in this person they're going to be like it's a temperance in reverse maybe for some of you this person tests your patience and I almost get that you guys could like laugh about it or something or like, I don't know, someone could be a Sagittarius. This person has a, they, they're inclined to hide how they feel. Like when they care about someone or when they love someone, it, it's like that might be the person that they end up trying to ignore or disconnect from because they won't show it. They, they won't show the emotions. We have the two of pentacles. Actually, we're going to put that here. Okay, so there's also this feeling of, you know how I was picking up on like a lot of thirst, a lot of passion. There's this feeling of just, this can move very, very quickly if you don't like pull back. And I think you guys will be doing that. I think you'll get caught up in, you know, in your situation with this person, you guys could be making out. Like I'm telling you, I've a lot of rubbing going on, a lot of, a lot of touching, and then you like pull back, and then you're like, no, 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 
we, we, we still got things to talk about or like, well, what about this or what about that? Um, and for some of you, it almost feels like you don't end up going out or you guys might stay in or this might be why you pull back and you're like, let's go out. Let's go out to eat. It feels like there's something here about going back and forth over moving forward, staying back, going out, staying in. So this person, um, someone has a really hard time trusting when it comes to love. I mean, it could be both of you, but someone here, that's what's holding, holding them back from taking this, um, this plunge or this leap of faith with, faith with you. But the chemistry is like undeniable Why the seven of swords and why the two of cups. I don't know. I said the two of cups and then that came out. And what I meant to say is the knight of cups. Well, this is something that this person's been thinking about for a while. They want to come in and they want to show you. They want to be all victorious. They're not telling me too much of the actual encounter, but it, they, it feels like you guys have some clearing of the air to do. I do think you guys are going to be physical with this person to what degree, um, you know, only you'll know. If you're already saying no way, then you already know that's not for you. But if uh, you're like, oh yeah, I know who this is. And yeah, you're right. We can't keep our hands off each other. Then you already know. But I'm going to tell you, it feels like it's been a long time coming. It feels like it's unexpected. And it feels like this person surprises you to some degree. They surprise you with a gesture that they make or something that they say or they show you like a side to them and this isn't really kind of normal for them because they feel like they're a little bit more either like cold or closed off very like air energy but this is like what they're hiding because they hide their emotions and it's like they're used to hiding their emotions this person does not like to be in love they do not like to be mushy they don't like to feel i think it's because they feel like that's giving up their power so it's like vulnerability is obviously an issue here but whatever your encounter is, however you, however much you decide to engage with this person in that way, it is pushing this connection forward. It is. And this person, they like want to come in um, like for a win. They want to come in and, and they don't, they don't want to be rejected. I mean, who does? But it's almost like they've planned this or they've thought about this and you may not think that they're planning. You may not think that they're thinking, but that's why they hit you with the tower because it's when you least expect it. You're going to be connecting with this person. Now this person, um, it also kind of feels like when you guys are intimate, whether that's just making out or it's like the whole thing, whatever you guys end up doing, um, it feels like that catches them by surprise. Your compatibility and, um, yeah, your vibe, your vibe when you're like touching them, when you're kissing them, they, they're they like, oh, that pulled at their cold little Grinch heart. This person, they kind of torture themselves, not going to lie. Right now, it doesn't feel like they're doing the greatest, especially if you've kind of gone MIA on them or not really talking to them. It feels like they're just kind of like wondering. We have the high priestess in reverse. So I definitely think that there's going to be something that's revealed to you. And I think you're going to be, um, wow. I don't know, guys, this person, they either spend a lot of time. Um, they might be working towards something. Okay. So here's some different scenarios. Some of them could be like a student and they're like, that's what they spend all their time on. And that could be where the hangup is or work or priorities, responsibilities with that guru, which is the higher fit. And that's what they're spending their time, money, and energy on mostly their time and energy. Now for others of you, this is someone who wants to start putting the time in towards building something a little bit more solid here or they're working towards being someone who's like wiser or someone that 
is um, I'm almost getting the vibe of someone that's learned from their mistakes or learned from things in the past. And now because of that, they're prioritizing the things that are important to them. And there's something about your connection that kind of highlights something for them in regards to that. What exactly it is, it's going to be different for everyone, but I do feel like your encounter leaves both of you with a lot to think about. And it feels like there's more serious thoughts about what's next or where it can go from here. We have the sun card, things coming to light. Now, even though I do think you guys are going to be happy with the fact that there is some kind of movement here, um, there's still a lot to the connection that you're not, you know, that's still left to kind of sort out. Oh, friends. Listen, well... We're already here. Let's check in on the vibe and the feelings after. Thank you, Spirit. Messages from my group number twos. How is my group number twos feeling after this encounter? And what are the vibes between them and this person? Thank you, Spirit. Messages from my group number twos. What's the vibe and their feelings after? Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. Messages from my group number two is what's the vibe and the feelings after. Oh, man. Like you just feel this person in your soul, perhaps. Like they, that feeling that you're like, Molly, you in danger, girl. <laughs> you're over here falling, falling in love. <laughs> Who's like that Ralphie meme, meme where he's like, huh, I'm in danger. That's literally what this feels like. What's the vibe like after? And I don't mean you're like literally in danger, but it's almost like you guys are like, fuck, I really like this person or I really want to take this next level. Or maybe you got, you feel like you did take it next level because you did just have this encounter for those of you that do end up um, having sex with this person. I wasn't getting that your encounter is heavy on that. It doesn't mean it doesn't happen. It just means there's a lot of other important things that go into this, um, this time with them, this moment in time with them. And there is a feeling here of moving towards more stability and being a lot more hopeful with maybe love or relationships or this specific one. It's like this could be the one that kind of makes you feel hopeful. Um, but let's see that ten of swords. Your person can be a terrible communicator, and that could be something that kind of puts you in that ten of swords. But let's see what else. Why the ten of swords? What's the vibe and the feeling after? Why the ten of swords? Because it's unfinished. Because things aren't done here, and maybe you thought they were going to be. And this uh, this connection is not easy. For some of you, it's yours and theirs awakening, spiritual awakening. It's not a fucking party. Let's, let's just be real. It sounds so fun <laughs> uh, till you're actually going through the, the dark night of the soul. Um, as dramatic as it sounds, but it definitely feels like you're like, oh shit. Like I, maybe you're like, I didn't think I was going to um, feel a so affected or I didn't feel I was going to, I didn't think I was going to feel like this after, or I wasn't expecting that from them. And it's a pleasant, I wasn't expecting that. But because of that, it sends you into kind of like mayday. I'm telling you like, oh, I'm in danger and I, I'm just, I'm just going to go. I'm going to jump off the love cliff and I'm not wearing a parachute. I'm going to base jump. I'm going to do it. <laughs> Listen, bestie. I'll, I'll be filming. I'll, I'll be doing the TikTok for you. But um, be careful out there. Nah, I'm like, literally, you guys know who you're dealing with. You're going to be very happy after. You're going to feel like things are progressing. You're going to feel like you guys are finally moving in a direction that feels good. You know you have options, but you also know that um, something is, isn't done here. Something's calling you in. 
you feel like you and this person are on the same page about wanting to start new and you realize that neither one of you has kind of let this go. You guys are both holding on to each other. Um, your encounter is very passionate. It's very passionate. Like I'm talking about you guys might start off as, you know, like I said, like kind of taking it out on each other, but because you are, it's like the kissing is harder, the coming together is harder, the, uh, the touching has more desperation behind it. Almost like I didn't think I was ever going to get this again, or I didn't think that this was going to happen. Um, the vibes are good. Group number two, at least in my opinion. Listen, I'm just a little lady on little YouTube with my little silly cards telling you guys silly little stories that you guys tell me they match up. And I love to hear it. Wow, we went out. We went a long time for you guys. Um, let's get our Oracle cards. That didn't even feel like it, huh? It's like when we're having fun, my group number twos. All right. We have illumination. Something is going to be coming to light. It did take a long time. Flow. This connection has forced you to go with the flow. Ideation. This has made you question yourself. This has probably been very frustrating. You guys might be two very um, like headstrong people. You and this person. We have creativity. We have trust and protection. So, um, Trust that the timing of this, you've been protected. So it's like if it didn't work out in the past and now things are finally shifting, it's because something has moved in the energy and it's time to let this change, let it flow, let it become what it's going to become next. So um, it definitely feels like you're heading in a direction where you feel pretty content, pretty happy with the way things are. Trust, maybe the situation has called on you to have trust. I bet it has with all that temperance in reverse and the and the delays and the this and the that and the time. All right, we have KGY. Hold on, let's see what we got here. We have lots of Zs. We have two Zs and an X. So I see zoo. I also see Monday, MDY. Moody, someone could be moody. So uh, this, yeah, temperance in reverse that many times. Someone could definitely be moody, and that two of pentacles. Uh, I just uh, you spin me right round like a record, baby. Not the Flow Rider version, the original version, <laughs> the '80s version, guys. We have P, T, and E. Physical therapy for someone. That was random. All right, I'll leave those there. Let's get some charms for you guys. And then you know what? We will do those handwritten notes, or those handwritten messages. Let's get some of those for you. All right, thank you, Spirit. Oh, shit. Let's see what else we can get about you and this person and this encounter. All right, we have Aaliyah. Ooh, the day that I'm filming this is actually Aaliyah's birthday. So Aaliyah wants you to dust yourself off and try again. We have yes, try again. Please only follow your heart on that one. Then we have the nine millimeter dagger. You guys are gonna be pulling the trigger on this passionate situation. We have sexy MF. Um, this person, you and this person, you guys are super attracted to each other. We have La Magia, Believe in Magic. Maybe you guys have been working with moon cycles or trying to call in your lover, trying to fall into alignment in what's for you. Um, and this feels like the energy is, is changing. We have Amigos. Someone could be a fan of friends or you could just be friends with this person. There is a friendship component. We have Baychella 18. 2018 could be important for someone. Um, also, that performance is important to all of us. <laughs> let's, let's us not forget, my friends. Um, that also, someone could have gone to Renaissance. We have Bad Bunny here um, in his Por Siempre era. And then we have the snake shedding its skin. So growth in this situation. Someone could have been a Bad Bunny. You guys are going to be Bad Bunnies together. Then we have Mickey wearing the ghost sheet. Someone could have ghosted. Um, it kind of feels like you did, though. <laughs> Someone's ghosting. I dropped. Hold on. All right. We dropped some messages. Okay. Let's see what these little guys have to say. We have kiss. Yeah. I was feeling that. 
Lots of kissing in this pile. We have my pony, Genuine. Okay. Someone wants to write it. Oh, this person likes how you write it. Okay. Yeah. For those of you that already have, this person likes how you do that a lot. Fantasize. Yeah. It's what they think about. Flashbacks. We have Agony and Ecstasy. Your um, old school song, but your connection. Um, there's a there's a thin line between love and pain is what I heard. Love and pain. So that means someone's uh, maybe could still be healing from a past situation, very protective of their heart. Look at all these uh, circles around this tiny little heart. That could be this person. Look how hard it is to get in there. It's hard to get into this person's heart, but it's almost like you're wait, working your way in there. We have different. You guys are different, but this person's also different than the usual type you connect to. The way that you and this person get along or whatever vibe, whatever soul connection, whatever intensity you guys have, it's not like it is with other people. We're funny little humans, aren't we? You never know who's who's wanting who. We have slide in. Someone wants to slide right in. They want to slide right in and kiss you. We have um, SUV or a bigger car. So someone here could drive an SUV or some type of car that's bigger, like a truck. I love those little Broncos, huh? Maybe someone drives a little Bronco. We have water sign, um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And for some reason, the first one I was going to say is Aquarius, which is not a water sign. But since I said it, we have Entitled, D'Angelo. <laughs> Friends, do yourself a favor and go watch that video. But listen, D'Angelo, um, it's a very, very slow, a very sexy, sultry song. And he's saying, how does it feel? Um, you know, and start talking about thighs and all kinds of things, guys. Ooh, go watch it. Watch the video. All right. We have, can I stop by real quick? Someone wants to stop by. Someone's going to stop by by surprise. Um, or maybe this is what they say to you when they're hanging out. Hey, can I come in real quick? Huh, the good old, can I use your bathroom, right? Air sign. What I tell you guys? There is my Aquarius, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini coming through. I knew it. I felt it lurking. Then we have doing it, LL Cool J. So you guys got three songs. Oh, you got three songs by literally three fine black men. We have LL Cool J, D'Angelo, and Genuine. We need to start a playlist. Oh, we should do a shadow play playlist, huh? Um, we have send me a pic. This person does fantasize and look at pictures of you if they have them. They might even ask you for one. And then we have stretch. Someone here, <laughs> someone here thinks you're bendy. Someone here is stretch, stretching. Might stretch your leg. And we have shower. I said bathroom earlier. Maybe that someone fantasizes about taking a shower with you. Then we have you're beautiful. This person, they're so into you. They just can't show you. <laughs> They might they might disintegrate and die if they did. <laughs> then we have a yes. You have two yeses. So this could be confirmation, friends, if you're asking yourself, is this a specific person? Is this person going to come back? Why do I feel this way? This could be confirmation for you guys. Um, all right, my group number twos, that's what I have for you today. Shit, I kept you guys so long, but I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you had a good time. Thank you so much for joining me. Please take care of yourselves, and I'll catch you the next one. Thanks, guys. Hello, my group number threes. If you picked a sticker, then welcome to your reading, friends. You know why you're here. Um, today, we're going to be looking into your next or your first time with this person. This is part two of a reading that we did, that we just posted. Um, that reading is called All About Your Next Date. That is part one. So if you want to know who this person is, about your connection, your dynamic, what's going on, um, all those details are over there. And in this reading, we're just going to be getting to the we're going to be getting to the juicy parts. <laughs> At least that's the intention. So that's why we're calling it an 18 plus reading. Um, I am putting the intention to get it spicy, but honestly, I can't control that. So whatever comes through, comes through. But this is meant to look into your next encounter, or maybe it's even your first encounter with this person and what that's going to be like. Um, we're going to be taking a look into all of those things, including um, the vibe and your feelings after this encounter. We're calling it the encounter. Guys, well, we're going to be doing charms, initials, 
oracle cards. And then guess what I have? Our little handwritten notes. You know I love these, our little messages. So we'll see, <laughs> those are always a surprise. Um, and the last thing I'm gonna say, keep in mind it's a collective reading on YouTube. If something is confusing you or triggering you, or if I'm talking about a past person and you absolutely know there's no way in hell that that can be for you, then you already know your answer, friends, and it's not your story. Um, it's cool. It happens. All right. And you never know who else is watching, right? Oh, if it's one thing this has taught me is we're all living parallel existences. <laughs> That's for sure. All right. My group number threes. Thank you for joining me. Let's get to it. Thank you, Spirit, for allowing me to channel these messages today for my group number threes. I wanted to see what was there. The three of wands. There's been some time or distance. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number threes. What is leading up to this encounter with this person, Spirit? The person that my group number threes is going to be connecting to. What is leading up to this encounter? Thank you, Spirit. What's leading up to it? My group number, t number threes first or next time. Their first or their next time. Thank you, Spirit. What's leading up to it? You guys are focused on yourselves, your your money, your home. It's like, yeah, I feel like you guys are really focused on taking care of yourselves. Oh, you guys could be moving on from a connection. You're trying to move on from someone. You're trying to leave drama behind. Yeah, you guys brought an ending to something. So you're... Your start with this person begins because of an ending. Something had to change. You had to put some of your anxieties, your worries. You were like, F that. I am so done with feeling like this. Why the two of cups in reverse? What's leading up to this encounter? What's leading up to this encounter? Why the two of cups in reverse? You guys could be in your feels. You guys are moving on, trying to move on from something. And being single, you're trying to really just focus on yourselves. I am getting that, but there is like it's with heaviness. But you're like, okay, Mary Jane, no more drama in our lives. Who wants that hateration and holleration in the dancery? Like no one does. And that's what you're doing. You're like, I'm just gonna be vibing by myself. And you know who? I, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and say it. I don't think anyone vibes on stage by themselves better than Miss Mary J. Blige. I mean, if you guys have seen her, you guys know. She's like all boots and legs and hair. And um, maybe, maybe, maybe someone here likes to dance. Maybe you guys are dancing at home, like just getting back in your groove, like by yourselves, you know, just really getting back in touch. I'm getting that you guys are like moving your body and it's like moving this feminine energy through. Um, and all that means it's like you're just connecting back to mind, body, spirit is what it feels like. So it doesn't matter what gender you are. All right, why the death card? Oh, our candle just went out. You guys know I don't like that. You guys are, what is going on here? Listen, no, no, no. No dead flames during an 18 plus reading, that's for sure. Don't worry, guys. It's not an omen. It's just the fact, literally the timing. The timing was perfect on that one. Now you guys can watch me spill wax. All right, there we go. So you guys, what's leading up to this is you guys are healing, but you guys are heartbroken or you're in pain. It's like you had to do something and you had to create distance, but you're going to get what you want. It's like you're... I feel like you guys are turning your back on a lot of things and you're just being very self-focused, very independent. It's almost like the kind of energy that people are like wondering, like, what happened to group three? What are they up to? I haven't seen them in a while or they've been laying low. Even if you haven't, there's just a vibe where you're not, even if you're around your friends, you're not talking about the relationship stuff or you're, you're just kind of like past it. You're trying to leave it past. But I'm going to say you guys are coming off as being lonely. I, you guys are missing, a, uh, maybe you, for some of you, this is a specific person. You're missing a specific person, a king of pentacles. 
Um, or it could just be that you want to have someone there, like a king of pentacles, someone who's going to be there for me, loyal, um, comforts me, is down for me, um, you know, holds it down, someone that can um, provide for me. I don't need them to, but it would be nice if I'm not the one pulling all the weight, like all the things, right? So it's going to be different for everyone. Some of you could be bummed out over a specific person or just not having this in general. But what's about to shift for you is that because you are in this energy and you did move on and you did bring focus back to yourself, you guys are, I feel like a lot of you have worked on your glow up. Um, so it's like physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, it's like, it's all getting brighter and brighter. Like your aura is, you know? And I don't think that would have been able to happen if you didn't do what you did, which is just hang solo for a while. You're about to, okay, you're, you're, you get attention. That's the thing. You may not know it, but people, they see you, they see your worth. You intimidate some, duh, because you're badass. Um, we have Aquarius energy coming through. But you're about to get a wish fulfillment here. Um, you're, you're about to get something that you've been wanting. The, the star and the nine of cups together, these are big wishes for me. This is a big wish here. And then this king of pentacles, it's like Zaddy's home. <laughs> Who's Zaddy? I don't know. You tell me. we are the three of wands. You guys could know this person through work or you will be connecting with them through work. That could be why things have been kind of slow or they haven't been able to take off. It feels like there's been kind of a hindrance there. All right. Well, just saw King of Wands. Not surprised. Let's see what this is. You guys, I also feel like your money is going to be doing good. Side note. I ain't never mad at good money messages. Ever, ever. <laughs> you guys are on the glow up. I like it. All right, my group number threes. Let's get into it. The juicy, the juicy parts. Well, let's see how juicy, huh? All right, my group number threes. Thank you, Spirit. What can you tell us, please, about this encounter that my group number threes is going to be having with this person? What can you tell us about their next time with this person? What can you tell us about their next time or their first time with this person? Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group and agrees. Their next or their first time with this person. Their next or their first time with this person. Thank you, Spirit. What can you tell us about the encounter? The lovers. <laughs> oh, who's going to knock your socks off? Okay. Something's you're going to be like, oh, my, they're clutching their pearls out there. <laughs> oh, oh, my. Literally, something's making you go, oh, my, and you are not mad at it. Again, the star card, you have a wish that's coming true, and it's going to catch you off guard because it's going to be unexpected. This has been a situation that has, um, there is a three of swords. I'm not going to take it, but we're going to acknowledge it because, hello, how can we not? There's been something disappointing and painful. You know what? The star card comes after the tower. They are literally in order. There's healing that happens. And this is from a situation that there was either a third party. It doesn't have to be another person. It could just be another thing that got in the way. An outside an outside influence that got in the way or is getting in the way. Thank you, Spirit. Messages from my group number threes, please. What can you tell us about their encounter? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. This is the hookup group for sure. Oh, shit, bitches. Let's get into it. Oh, my God. I just started hearing Sublime. I just started hearing... <laughs> Oh my God, um, caress me down when Bradley's saying, 
she pulled out my mushroom tip and it went drip, drip, drip. Like literally that's, <laughs> that's what I felt right there is that you guys are already warmed up. Like you, like both you and this person are like revved up. Um, almost like before you even touch, it's like the sizzle is sizzling before you guys even, even touch. This is a connection. I'm going to be honest with you guys, and you could get annoyed with me and what I'm about to say, but you're going to have a hard time shaking this. I, I, I don't know why. I just know the lovers and the death card in reverse says we can't let this go. And, you know, the lovers is about choices, but more than anything, what I'm picking up on here is that there's a strong kind of soul tie or like soul connection that you can't let go. And it doesn't really matter if there's been like delays or anything like that. Um, now, for those of you that this isn't a specific person already, maybe this kind of helps restore your faith back into connecting with someone in this way. Because it feels like there's something about this that you're just like, it's, it's almost like it's uh, soul, soul shaking. You guys could see long term with this person or there's something about family. Someone here could have children. If you guys both have children, maybe you guys look like those people that would just be a beautiful blended situation. That's intense, but it's true. Something about this person kind of catches you off guard. I mean, a lot off guard with that tower. Why the tower, please? What's their encounter going to be like? This is going to be at someone's home, by the way. It feels like it's at one of your guys' homes. It feels like you guys are cozy at home. Yeah, this is going to take you by surprise because you're not expecting it. Maybe you'd been like imagining it, but someone here is going to just pop in and be like, hi, how, how are you? How have you been? Or what are you up to right now? Or look what I brought for you. Or they're just going to be like real cute with you. They're going to give you attention. Not that you need it, but I mean, it's like, um, it's like they see you and they're hopeful and they're, it's just all sweet energy. We have the five of pentacles. You guys have been missing each other. Maybe it's been a while as well. Asa wants this person's super horny for you, but it's like, they don't want to rush right to it right away. They, they're going to be, um, yeah, they want to talk. They want to talk. Oh, they want to talk about what happened. This person wants to talk about something that happened. And they don't feel like it was fair, or it was right, or they want you to know the truth. There's uh, something here. I can't tell if it's something personal or if it's like between you guys. But the vibe is that this person wants to talk to you about this three of swords that keeps coming up. Some kind of tough ending that left them feeling a little rattled or that left them feeling like, I don't know, maybe the rug got pulled from under them, or maybe they did something that um, made you feel some type of way. Maybe that's why you had to move on. I don't know. You guys, you guys could even be sharing conversation about heartbreaks that you guys have had. Like, say you guys um, were both married, or you had long-term relationships, or there's something still lingering. That could be the third sword. There's an outside thing that needs to be addressed, and this person wants to talk. It's like they want to make it right with you and they want you to see things differently. They don't want you to view them with a certain, like they don't want you to view them in the wrong way or yeah. It's like they want to come in and clear something up with you. There's a lot of passion between you guys. Like you guys are definitely like super attracted to each other, but it's almost like well, we can't get to that. It's almost like maybe you even have to like kind of ignore it or kind of like the pressure is building, but there's some serious stuff to kind of talk about or address. This person is definitely coming in as giving you some kind of information about something that they want to let you know. And it is going to make you happy. I it's okay. So part of the reason that it makes you happy as well is because this person is like letting you in or they're like, Maybe like, yeah, I feel like they're, they're just letting you in and you're, you're gaining some insight. Let's see why the five of pentacles with the page of wands. Why the five of pentacles, please. 
So you could have felt like this person, that's all they want from you. And that's the, the thing of, well, that's not enough for me. And maybe that's what they're clearing up or you guys end up having a conversation because it feels like they want to make you put you at ease or there's a need here to kind of clear the air. And it does take a lot for them to do this, um, but they kind of know that they need to or they feel like they need to um, because I think they're kind of feeling like you're being hard to read and they're not sure if you care or what, what you feel or where you're currently at with things. Now keep in mind, these conversations and these things that are going on, they could very well be in between um, trying to like not get too close or not touch or because it almost seems like if we sit too close to each other or if we make eye contact or if we're a little too long or we do something a little it lingers, it's like it's going to turn into a full on, full on where you know it's heading. But we're working our way up to it. You guys are both vibing. You guys are both vibing. And this person, they want to, um, they want you to think of them as someone that's reliable and someone that's like smart. And they, they're like, they don't want you to think that they're like impulsive or that they haven't been thinking or that they don't, or it's almost like they want you, they're going to show you depth to them. More depth is what I heard. We have the two of cups. At the bottom of the deck. Yeah, lots of talking. You guys are going to have lots of talking because you are on guard, my group number threes. You're on guard because the, um, you've missed this person, but there's something here that they've kept you waiting or it wasn't going anywhere. And they've never kind of indicated or showed that they like loved you or that they cared. And it's like, I don't know how good they can do that, but I think they're kind of doing it in their own way, letting you know. <sighs> okay, here's the thing. This person, they want you really bad, but I'm going to be honest with you. They low-key feel like they can't measure up to you, but they're going to try. <laughs> they're going to try. All right, let's see what else. Thank you, Spirit. What else can you tell us, please? My group number three is their next or first time with this person. What can you tell us? That page of wands keeps coming up. There's definitely a lot of fun action, whether it's flirting or making out or just, um, you know. I don't think you guys can keep it casual with this person. At least some of you that I'm picking up on. I'm, I'm picking up that there's a good amount of you that that don't want to just hook up and be done. Um, especially not with this person is what I'm hearing. All right. Thank you, Spirit. What can you tell us about their encounter? The Ten of Swords. The Strength card. What can you tell us about their encounter? Someone is, this person is very pulled back and it's like their ego and it makes things pretty difficult. So you guys, okay, if you're dealing with, if you're dealing with a guy, they're going to come a lot. <laughs> I had to say it. It's just what I'm getting, okay? You guys already know how I feel about these cards in a sex read. And the strength card, it's like, it's hard. In that 10 of swords, it's like, I'm dead. Like, it's hard. I'm dead. <laughs> I'm done. I'm falling asleep. But this four of pentacles tells me there is a, it's, this person tries to keep it very contained. Um, almost like the vibe of someone that doesn't want to show too much how they're feeling, too much emotion, too much pleasure, even though if they're greatly enjoying themselves, it's almost like they're so reserved. Um, there's also a feeling here. I don't know if this is a secret because it feels like this just happened and I'm keeping it to myself. This just happened and it's now given me so much more to think about because I thought that the situation was one way and now it turns out it just from one day to another, poof, it turned into this. What, what do I do now? I'm just going to hold on to it. I'm going to pack it up tight and I'm probably not even going to tell my friends yet. <laughs> That's what it feels like. 
<laughs> oh, you know what I just got in my head when I said that of when um, in Sex in the City, Carrie doesn't want to tell her friends that she's seeing big again. I think specifically it was Miranda that she didn't want to tell um, because she already knew that she wasn't going to be happy. <laughs> and maybe this is something like that, guys. <laughs> All right. Why the Ten of Swords? That doesn't have to be your story. I'm just telling you guys what I thought of. Why the Ten of Swords? What else can you tell us about this encounter? Oh, because you guys missed each other so much. You guys are, uh, oh, I hate to say it, but it's almost like coming home to each other. Listen, if this person goes inside you or you go inside them, it's going to feel like home. It's going to feel like this is when it's all okay. This is when we work out best. I'm um, not saying you don't work out in other ways. I just think that there's a lot here to sort through whatever's going on in each other's lives. But like I said, it feels like it's going to be a conversation. You guys, do it doesn't feel like you're just jumping into this, you know, not that you would, but I mean, there's a clearing of the air. There's an ease that this person wants to build. So you guys are very happy when you're with each other, but this Ten of Swords, it's almost like, why, why can't we take it? Why can't we, why can't we openly embrace this and enjoy it? I don't really know, but it feels like it triggers this feeling of intensity. Yeah. Why the Ace of Wands? What I tell you, someone's going to be put to bed. We're going to do it like this. Um, so, yeah, I do think that someone is going to finish and it's like we're going to snooze for a minute. Um, but this also makes me feel like some of you are definitely coming back together with this person. Um, that's not for everyone, but for those of you that already know who this is and look at it's exactly what you both want. You guys enjoy each other. Um, interesting. You guys like how each other tastes is what I'm getting. This, you guys have a thing of the senses with this person. Like, what is it? Touch, smell, taste. I don't know what the others are. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um... I want to see what this is. You guys keep getting the Ten of Pentacles. Are you guys in it for the long haul with this person? Are you guys, um, are things becoming clearer as to what this could be in the future? Can you see each other, can you guys see um, each other growing old? Like, or, you know, see yourself growing old with this person? This makes me think of like aging or like a long time. I, I, I definitely think like someone has family or there's, something coming through with that, but there's also a lot of gaining clarity. Scorpio energy keeps coming through with that tower card. What else, please? Oh, oops. The family card and the tower. Listen, if you guys are at an age and stage of being able to get pregnant, like just be careful because this person, um, Honestly, this is definitely the type of energy that they would finish inside of you. Because it's like the desire, the, the intensity, the it's, it's mine. Group three is mine. Maybe you're like, that person is mine. There's a holding on to each other. And then we have all this energy of surprise, family, ten of pentacles. That's for some of you. Now, for others of you, you're getting, gaining a lot of clarity as to what's going on with this person, and it's very unexpected, and it's like a, a pleasant surprise where now you know what's going on, and now you feel like, yes, we, we got something here. We're making progress, and you're like, things are definitely not finished here. Now, I also feel that because um, I, I feel like this group, you might be hooking up at their house or your house. It feels like we're in a cozy environment. I already said that. But um, you guys get to kind of see 
especially if it's in their house, it's like you get to see them in their element and that kind of brings you clarity and that makes you feel like, okay, I can, I can picture myself here. I can, I can, I, I could picture us living together. <laughs> Listen, I'm being silly. It doesn't have to be that extreme, but it does feel like you're getting some kind of foresight into what the future could hold and you're feeling excited. You guys, um, yeah, I definitely feel like you guys are going to have a fun little time together. I want to look into the seven of pentacles and the four of pentacles. Thank you, spirit. Why the seven and the four? Someone, okay, someone here might be stingy with their time or Someone here, okay, first of all, there is an attachment here, um, but it feels a little possessive and it feels like someone here is determined. It could be a Capricorn. Someone here could work really hard, be all about their money. Capricorns aren't usually stingy. But I don't know. This is a side note. Maybe someone here is weird about going out or there's just like some kind of self-sabotage. There's definitely self-sabotage holding them back and it holds them back in what they choose to invest their time and energy into. But I feel like because of that, this person is like so they're this person's kind of controlling in some type of way. And I don't mean controlling with you. I think with you, it translates into a little bit of possessiveness. But besides that, this feels like the energy of someone who it's like they decided that they're going to do this. And it's like, that's, that's them. It's almost like it's a stubborn, it's a little stubborn streak, to be honest with you guys. But look at this de determination. There's also like determination to come towards you. There's a lot of lust. There's a lot of fantasies that this person has been entertaining. And it is them. Aries, Aquarius. And they, uh, they want to come in and leave a good impression. What's this encounter going to be like? Thank you, spirit. They're jealous. They've been jealous because they can't see what you're up to. They don't know if you're involved. They're assuming that you have other people. That's as random. This is their possessiveness. They're like, you want to see? You want to see what it is? Well, okay. Someone here. Um, Right now, they're not really liking, especially if you have kind of ghosted or kind of pulled back from them. They're not really sure what to do. And part of them just wants to pop in with this page of cups and check in on you and see what's going on. Now, for others of you, this page of cups could be talking about that this person maybe has kids. Maybe they're a single parent. And that's what's adding to stuff for them to kind of deal with or how they're prioritizing their time. Maybe this person has little time to spare. That's why when they decide to do something, it's like they kind of go for it. My group number threes. It seems like you've kind of been dealing with this person to some degree. Lots of mutual attraction, but also keeping it contained. Um, yeah, because it doesn't seem, it seems like, <laughs> it seems like something here. All right, well, you guys are going to be feeling good. I think you're going to feel hopeful about this connection going forward. Something's going to change. Um... Maybe you realized how much you miss this person or you realize how much you connect with them because it does seem like there's a lot of mutual ten of cups, ten of pentacles, mutual family, happiness. Look at the sun card. Strong on the Leo vibes, Capricorn, Cancer. I already said others as well. Scorpio, the Scorpies. <laughs> All right, my group number three is, yeah, you guys are going to get none with this person. Um, 
going to be all wild style. Well, you're definitely getting the, the written messages. <laughs> Not everyone got them this time. All right, messages for my group number threes, please. They're next or first time with this person. What can you tell us? They're next or first time with this person. Thank you, Spirit. We have happiness. Y'all are going to be good. Growth. It is going to push this um, connection further. You guys are going to get to know each other better. And there is going to be a level of not just sex, but intimacy through connection. That's going to help you. Um, yeah, that's going to help you. We have energy and intuition. You guys could be readers yourselves, or you could read this person's energy without talking. We have magic. Yeah, there's definitely readers here. And then we have rejection. That could be this person feels rejected right now. Um, it's like they gotta they gotta sort themselves out. Fear. This person has fear of rejection. Then we have peace. You guys, it's interesting because even if you guys are both kind of nervous or have stressed yourselves out over this connection or they have you whatever's been going on um it does feel like that triggering it's like they maybe you just triggered them big time by that rejection but it's not a bad thing because if anything it feels like they're gonna be it's like pushing them to come forward um all right my group number threes let's see your initials you guys will have to let me know if this resonated FPE, R, we have PR, Puerto Rico, Rhode Island. Pez, someone could be a collector of toys or stickers, pins, hats, something like that. Someone could be into spooky things. Someone wants to say sorry. Just started hearing Justin Bieber. Is it too late to say I'm sorry now? What does he say? I'm not just wanting your body. This person misses you, not just your body, in case you were wondering. I know that I let you down. Is it too late to say I'm sorry now? Yeah. Um, all right. We have V and K, J, S, Y, K, Psych. <laughs> we have G. All right, F P E Z R H N M G Q I O O S R V N K J S Y K. All right. Thank you for it. Oh shit. I've got some charms. I just said oh shit because I just dropped one. Let me see if I can get it. We have the hawk. We have the claw coming down. So it's like, oh, it makes me think of I uh, Leah. Um, I've been watching you like a hawk in the sky. So this person could still be keeping an eye on you, even though you don't know it. Um, then we have the dagger going through the sacred heart. So transformation, um, but also a lot of intensity and a lot of passion. That dagger reminds me of the truth coming through. The truth shall prevail. Um, so there's some kind of clarity coming through. We have do not disturb. This person wants you all to themselves. We were feeling that. We have tacos. They might bring you tacos, eat bitches. If someone brings me tacos and the mood is right, the panties aren't staying on. <laughs> I said it. <laughs> Halfway kidding. Ah. All right. We have the sacred heart. You guys, so much intensity. Um, someone could be um, someone could be religious, um, Catholic, where someone just really likes religious artwork, um, lots of sacred heart imagery coming through, but also that pain with the passion um, coming through. There's a fine line in your group. We have the Night King. Again, this reminds me of air energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, very cold and closed off, trying to rem remain stoic. And we have Biggie wearing his crown where Brooklyn at. Um, I just started hearing um, hypnotize me. So maybe this person feels hypnotized by you. Oh, I just started hearing more money, more problems too. So maybe this person's having money issues or dealing with something at home regarding money or their career. We have the lion. So Leo energy coming through. This person likes to look good or someone definitely their, their ego is coming through. Um, someone could be a Leo as well. We have, thanks, I bought it at Versace. So this person, I feel like they do kind of put on a facade out in the normal, in the everyday world. Um, 
to the point though where I think they are kind of hard to read and they are, it's like, do they care? Don't they care? Um, and I think that your encounter is going to show you that, why well, yes, they are in this. We have the death card. There is going to be transformation coming into your life and this connection. Um, my group number threes, that's also Scorpio energy. All right, let's see what your little handwritten notes have to say before we wrap things up. Okay, we have feet. Someone could have cute feet. They might like your feet. We have Uber. Someone could be taking a ride. Someone could be calling an Uber. Then we have couch. That makes me think of Uber Eats. You guys, you could be, someone could be taking an Uber to hang out with you. Maybe someone's sitting on the couch and rubbing your feet. We have hookup. Maybe you guys have hooked up with this person before and you felt like you had to get away because that wasn't enough for you. If that's the case, it feels like there's a change coming to that. We have date night. I, and then tacos, you guys, I'm catching the vibe. This person wants, this person wants to make you comfortable. They're going to put effort into that. We have on you. They can't stay off of you. They are on you. Um, they might also finish on you. We have earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. We were picking that up earlier. We have lipstick. They could like when you wear lipstick or you like lipstick on them, depending on what your vibe is. Then we have again, so it doesn't feel like it's a first time. We have lights on. You guys are going to get it on with the lights on. <laughs> I'm into it. I want to see. <laughs> this doesn't happen too often. I want to see what's going on here. <laughs> we have after hours. It's late at night after hours, maybe you're taking the Uber back to your house and just chilling. We have one week. So some of you, something could be happening within a week. Then we have WYD. What are you doing? Someone is hitting you up with a, what are you doing? Then we have kiss it. Someone's going to want you to kiss it or you want them to kiss it. Kiss what? Mm -hmm. Fill in the blank guys. I know you see me too. Just give me a sign. This person is so afraid of rejection. We're going to put that right here. Then we have again, again, and again. This person wants you again and again and again. If they treated you like a hookup at some point, uh, I definitely think that some of them might be realizing that they want more. I'm almost like hesitant to say that. You guys really, I'm not going to Delulu checkpoint it. You guys just Delulu checkpoint yourselves when you deal with this person. But it feels to me like someone's putting in the effort and they're coming into you or <laughs> maybe they are coming into you. Listen, I was going to say they're coming to you, but whatever works. As I said what I said. All right. Um, I don't have to fake it with you. So this person feels like they can be real with you. Um, that's also part, it's really, really, really fucking hard for this person to be vulnerable, you guys. I'm, I'm stressing that right now. And with you, it feels like the guard is down or they can, you know, be themselves. We have one month, so one week to one month for some of you. So let's just say in a matter of weeks, this could be happening. And we have, I care about you. Maybe this is what this person's going to be telling you. All right, let's get the last one. Look how you guys didn't get any songs. Very interesting when these come up. They're so consistent. Then we have younger. This person could be slightly younger than you, or you could be slightly younger than them. I was getting like, um, I don't know, maybe like three to five years, three to six. I don't know. You guys know your situation way better than I do. Oh, we have Vaughn over here. What's going on? That makes me think of Theo Vaughn. All right, my friends, that's what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope it resonated. Well, at least I hope it was entertaining. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me, friends. Please take care of yourselves, and I'll catch you the next one. Thanks, guys.